All right. It, it's the day. This is the day. We are leaving Galveston, which is kind of sad. It's been really nice here, but we're going home. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! We are heading back to Canada. It's gonna take us probably four days from here. It's gonna be a long, hard days. Michael and I spent yesterday doing kind of some food prep so that hopefully we don't have to stop to eat at any restaurants. We can just hit the road and keep going. We're having breakfast now. It's probably our last cooked breakfast. Um, we're gonna stop at RV parks at night. So if we have time in the mornings, we may cook breakfast, but likely we're just gonna hit the road. So it's our last cooked breakfast. We're getting everything packed up. We got bedding on the seat. We almost got this front seat all cleared off, except for a Jesse. <laughs> and we're gonna get on the road. Alright, we're bringing our ice cold in. We're gonna put all the food that we prepped for the trip into there since because we don't have a battery on our bus, we can't run our fridge while we're driving. So let's go in there. We're leaving Galveston. It feels a bit like an end of an era. Like we were here for almost two months and we don't usually stay put for that long in one place. But this trip was a little out of the ordinary for us because we were coming for Adri's wedding really. So we spent two months in Louisiana and two months in Galveston and a little stopover in Arkansas on the way down. And that was really it. And now we're going home and we had a great time. It was, it was good to avoid the minus 60 that they had back in Canada. <laughs> and uh, we should get home in time for a little bit of snow still. But overall, it's been great, but we're so happy to be heading home. I had to check actually a second ago because we just got up before the sun and started getting ready. So I didn't even know what time it was, but it is eight o'clock. We were up about 6.45, I think. Uh, some of the littles woke up all our early risers. So we kind of snuggled for a bit because it is cold here. We made it to Amarillo, Texas last night. You know, it's kind of disappointing when you like drive a full long, hard day of driving and you're still waking up in the same state the next morning. But Texas is a big state. There's a few states that it just, it takes a while to get through and Texas is one of them. So anyways, we're in Amarillo. We stayed the night at an RV park because um, it's hovering right around freezing here and it's cold. And we, we could have done it in the bus um, at that temperature without electricity, but it would have meant a lot of digging around for blankets and sweaters and warmer jammies and I don't sleep as well when I'm worried. I tend to get up a lot in the night and put kids' blankets back on because the little ones always kick them off and, and things like that. So it was a lot easier just to pay the night for a stay in an RV park, plug in, and hook up the heaters and then I got to sleep good and everybody was warm and I didn't have to worry about it. So that's what we did last night. 
Uh, we're just getting gas while well, topping up the bus. We got gas last night at the end of the day, but for whatever reason, the gas pump only let Michael pump $175, which seems like a lot until you're filling up a school bus. <laughs> Uh, and so it didn't quite get topped up. So he's just here, just topping it last little bit up this morning. I'm already full. The kids are up and they had a little snack and they're chilling on the bus. I'm on my lonesome in the suburban, which is kind of awesome. It's probably some of the little ones will join me later today when they're bored on the bus so about to hit the road. So here we go, another full day. Let's see how far we can make it. I got two boys with me. <laughs> we are making way better time than we expected. We are already in Cheyenne, Wyoming, which is where we thought we were gonna stop yeah. for the night. Yeah. We thought it'd be bedtime, and yeah. it's only supper time. So we are gonna push on. We're gonna go for at least another four hours to try to get to the That's other going. side of Sheridan. That's so the That's the goal. freezing rain and you could just see the sheen on the roads which was just a little nerve-wracking especially because we're really tired after like 14 hours driving um, so sketchy road conditions and tiredness don't go well together but uh we pulled off the highway in Sheridan I was thinking that all the RV parks up here would probably be closed this time of year I was getting Michael to check um, the hotels in the area and we just randomly saw an RV park across the road from a hotel with a whole bunch of trailers in it. So apparently they're still open even though we're pretty close to Canada and it's usually a lot colder than this in the, at this time of year, but it's open, got a spot and we're gonna get ready for the night. And I'm gonna take you guys inside the bus and show you the chaos that our bus is when we are traveling because everything falls off of every shelf and out of cupboards and then the kids are eating and snacking and not throwing their garbage away because they're just sitting and it's always chaos in there when I get out of the room at the end of the day. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. Covered to keep them cold. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Welcome to the Himalayas! <laughs> this is what we woke up to today. We're in uh, Sheridan. Sheridan, Wyoming. Uh, we came in last night about 10 o'clock. So it was dark, but there was no snow on the ground. There was remnants of snow out in the field, but the roads were clean and clear. Now we woke up to this. We're about to hit the road. So we gotta retrain ourselves to get back in the winter driving mode. Hit the road, Jack. Early braking. No, more, no aggressive no more, braking. No more, no more. It's a little snowy. Everybody glad for their winter jackets now? Good thing we waited for them. By the sound of the drums, where the rhythm begun. It's cold out there. It's minus 20. Minus 24 with the wind chill. She started. But with this thing, you don't go back and forth, back and forth. You hold it until she fires. Well, it was a bit of a cold night. Did everybody survive? No. Yeah. Yeah. We all made it through. Mixed reaction. Mixed reaction. I ended up putting two heaters in the kids' room at the back. And then we only had one here at the front, one of the little ones, just because. I just can't sleep if I think that they're going to be cold. And uh, they all had, now you're freezing. They all had their jackets on their beds with them just in case. And everybody had, was double blanketed. It was cold getting out of bed this morning for sure. But this RV park that we're staying at has the nicest bathrooms. And they're super warm. And they even have a heat lamp in each individual bathroom. So there was no problem getting up and getting ready and using the bathroom once we were moving and going. It was all good. So the bus started, took a little bit of trouble. The Suburban started without even being plugged in, thankfully. And so the kids are just having some leftover chicken for breakfast. We're gonna get some gas. And we're gonna do the last leg of our journey. That means we went from Texas to Canada in four days. Four days, as long as we make it today. But that's pretty amazing. Canada people! 